Chuck Freebie standing by with Pulse FM host Corey Mann and Corey, the program director of Pulse FM. Part of their big summer concert series was last Friday night when Toby Mack came to the Morris Civic Auditorium. One of the outstanding performers in Christian music that had to be a great event. Yeah, you know, he started off with DC Talk way back in the day, but now the solo career is longer than the DC Talk career. So I think more of the audience knows the Toby stuff. There's a few mentions of DC Talk uh, lyrics and whatnot, and it kind of kind of fell a little thumpish, you know, but when he gets to the Toby stuff, people knew it. But Chuck, it was such a great show. He's a consummate performer, not only with music, but just uh, choreography and staging and lighting, and there's nine, ten people up on stage, just all have a role to play in the show. Is that what sets him apart from other Christian music artists? I think so. I think uh, in Christian music world, you have maybe a little bit more leaning towards singer-songwriter kind of vibe, a, a white guy with a guitar, you know? But he has definitely uh, been influenced by the police, uh, hip-hop back in the day in the early 80s. So he knows that um, if people are going to come out for a show, it's not just the song, it's the performance, it's the... It's the epicness of, of the of the stage performance. You've seen a lot more concerts than I have, but I compare them a little bit to Garth Brooks in that with Garth Brooks, everybody knows the songs, but when you go to a Garth Brooks concert, you see a performance. And that's the way I feel when I see Toby Mac. Yeah, great comparison. It, it just feels like everybody's a part of it. There's a community happening in the audience. And uh, we got a few comments from some of our listeners. It was great to see different generations. You know, you've got eight, nine, ten year olds, you've got 15, you've got high school, you've got college, you got my age there, you know, almost 50. And uh, he appeals to such a, a massive audience and has a little something for everybody. And then the summer series augments these things with the little thing they do called the party on the plaza beforehand. How did that work out? It was great. It was perfect weather. Uh, there's been some uh, construction and remodeling in front of the Morris in downtown South Bend, but that got cleared away and we had uh, a performance artist do some amazing work. Uh, and then uh, a new up and coming artist named Elisa Turner, who you met on Friday. And from what I've been told, the crowd really enjoyed her and kind of entered into what she had to offer them. So, Plus some food trucks to keep the people well sated. So another one coming up in August, who's coming in? Mercy Me, huge. You know, coming off uh, another great year, uh, the movie I can only imagine. I think that opened up uh, another door to their career. People who've never even heard of their song before the movie. And so I know we got a lot of people that'll be here for that. And then a guy from Ireland, his name's Darren, but his group is We Are Messengers. And he's really good as well. So it's going to be fun. It's the second Friday in August. That'll be August 10th. We look forward to seeing you out at the Moore's Civic. If you don't already have your tickets, you have plenty of chances to win them. I'm Pulse FM. <laughs>